Welcome to a tutorial on Flutter web applications deployment using GitHub Actions. Our application currently has a single branch main. We're going to make a new branch called gh-pages. We're next going to push the branch up to GitHub so that we can use the settings on GitHub to configure GitHub pages. Next, we check out our main branch again, because we're going to do most of our work on the main branch. Check it with git branch. We're on main. Let's go to the GitHub settings. If you look at GitHub, the main repo that we're working with, there are now two branches, main and gh pages. Let's now go to the settings of the repository on the left hand column. You're going to see something called actions. It has a little play sign there. Go to general and at the bottom of general. So scroll all the way to the bottom of general. There's going to be the workflow permissions. We're going to have to enable read and write permissions for this workflow. The workflow is open source from some pretty well known projects. So you could check out the source code yourself. If you have any concerns about the write privilege, we're using Flutter Action from Subocito. And if you haven't already configured Flutter Web, you'd have to configure it with Flutter config hyphen hypo enable hyphen web. And now we have enable web set up. And you can create it with Flutter create hyphen hyphen platforms equals web space dot. But let's get into the GitHub Actions. So create a subdirectory github.github and in there create workflows. Within the workflows, we're going to create a ghpages-yaml file to store the configuration for GitHub Actions. The name of it will be the name of the action, which is gh-pages. And we're going to set it up so that every time we push to the main branch, uh, if you don't want to push it all the time to the main, what you can do is set up a branch and then merge it back into main when you want to rebuild the web application portion. Under the jobs, we're going to have the build be on Ubuntu OS, the latest version. And then for the steps, we're going to have it use the checkout as well as the flutter action from Subo. Cito, there's actually a space after the hyphen here. So put the space in, it uses and the next step here, which is the subo cito flutter hyphen action. And the version. We're next going to use another uh, step here from the Blue Fire team, uh, they actually are the makers of the Flame game system for Flutter, and I've been using it with the game system, and so I like this, this step here because uh, I'm familiar with it. So we'll use the Flutter-GH-Pages from the Blue Fire team to get it onto GitHub Pages, and they have to specify with with the base ref is the name of the repository so this is the, the one that you created. So the, the name of my repo is dot underscore guide underscore panel. And the web renderer, I'm going to set to canvas kit. There's different web renderers and you could want to change it potentially to HTML, but I'm going to use canvas kit in this demonstration. Now I'm going to do the commit and push it up to main. When I push it up to main, the GitHub action should kick in. And unfortunately, this time it did get a fail here. Looking at the logs of GitHub Actions, I had to allow the secret. It's actually a false positive from the built-in rule set check of GitHub Actions. If you just look at the log, there's a link. And if you just click on the link, it'll show you how to add that uh, false or deal with the false positive if you have the same error that I did. It incorrectly interpreted uh, SKI and SKIA to a uh, secret key. So if you didn't add a secret key in to your application, uh, you're good to go.
once the Flutter web application launches, the responsiveness is quite good. Even with the, just the canvas kit, this is not using WebAssembly. Uh, the thumbnails, the scrolling, all, they all work great. The movement of the 360 image is fine. Going back to the thumbnail screen is also very fast. The initial load of this demonstration does take a bit of time, so it's not that great for production. However, for a test, it is fantastic. Hope you're having a great time building mobile applications with 360 images.